Dude was a Patriots fan till Brady left. Now his team sucks and he's salty. Actually, here's the irony. Hi, this is John Gruber from MIT, and I'm here on Chalk Radio, and I'm gonna read some YouTube comments from my OCW 1401 class. Before watching this video, I used to think economics is bullshit, and this video did not change my perspective. Given the language used, I appreciate, appreciate that I am the most bleeped class on OCW. The supermarket, you look at that, you're like, it, I'm gonna have toast. But if you go to these countries, you say that, they're like, you. I think you have to ask yourself uh, what you don't like about economics, why you think it's bullshit, and actually ask yourself, What's the alternative for explaining a lot of things you want to understand in the world? And I don't think you find it beats the alternatives. Someone writes, uh, I took this exact offering of 1401 my senior year in a rush to complete my HASS requirement before graduating. Little did I know Professor Gruber is the GOAT and this class is gonna be a blast with him. Uh, that's great, but please next time capitalize GOAT because it makes me look like I'm a barn animal. This comment is imagine how much better the electorate would be if they spent time to watch this. Actually, really important comment. The fundamental idea of democracy is, is that it's participatory, that we're making educated decisions on voting. I think economics gives people a framework to really understand how to vote. Not that it gives you an answer one way or another, but it gives you a way of thinking about that answer. And I really hope people will use this framework to be more informed as they make those voting decisions. Does this guy even know what he's talking about when I was discussing the NFL is a cartel? Actually, I do know what I'm talking about. The NFL is a cartel. It's a legalized cartel, as I discuss in my class. So uh, America has said that we should not allow cartels, we should not allow companies to collude, except when it comes to football. And I know what I'm talking about because not only am I a good economist, I'm an enormous NFL fan. So yes, I do know what I'm talking about. Dude was a Patriots fan till Brady left. Now his team sucks and he's salty. Actually, here's the irony. Uh, I hate the Patriots. I'm a Miami Dolphins fan, and that's even worse. It amazed me MIT still uses blackboards. You know, uh, they don't much. I think I may be the last guy not on PowerPoint. But I'll tell you the secret to why I use the blackboard is I talk too fast. And the only thing that slows me down is having to write things in the blackboard. And if I use the PowerPoint, I just go faster and faster until I spin off into the atmosphere. So the blackboard is sort of my, what we call in behavioral economics, my self-control mechanism to slow me down and make sure I take my time to go through things. Thank you, Professor Jonathan Gruber at MIT. I'm from Indonesia and I decided to trade off my time by watching your lecture instead of watching Netflix and other crap soap opera. That's the best thing to explain opportunity cost concept. I think that's a great way to explain opportunity cost. Uh, there's some very good TV and I think if you cannot find a TV show better than my lecture, then maybe you need to search around a little bit more, but I hope you can manage to find time to watch both. Deeply indebted to MIT's OCW. You guys are doing phenomenal work in the field of education. Thanks a lot, guys. This is actually a really good point. Um, you're gonna watch my lecture on 1401. I'm gonna get all the credit. I did nothing. That's a lecture I was gonna deliver anyway. Okay, there was zero extra effort exerted. All the work that goes into this being online is done by other people you don't see. So shout out to the people who actually do the work, uh, even though I get all the credit. Thank you very much for this class. It helped me learn a lot at 30s. Thank you, Professor and MIT. Lifelong learning is another key goal of, of, of OCW. We're never too old to learn really interesting new stuff. And that's wonderful that MIT can make this available for lifelong learners. Loving this prof, hella dude, interesting to listen to. Well, um, that's great, tell my children. <laughs>